everyone, welcome to Bullying RV in Duluth, Minnesota, located off of Lake Superior. My name is Haley Jones, and today I get to show you the 2023 Winnebago Mini. It's the 2630 MLRK. Like always, we'll start on the outside, work our way on the inside, and then you guys can tell us what you think. So, let's start on the front. You get a nice fiberglass front cap. Working our way along the side, you get a nice large pass-through storage. It does have light, and as you can see, it does also have a vent, so it is heated, which is really handy. Nice, large awning, covers quite a bit of space. That really helps out when you're outside and wanting to just be around the campfire, be with family, be with friends. Um, solid steps, the Lippard solid steps on your way inside. I'll show you how those work when we work our way inside. Outdoor kitchen, you get a gray stone, you get a little sink, and then of course, a refrigerator for all your beverages, which is great. Or snacks, or maybe your grilling ingredients, like the uh, shish kebab stuff, or maybe the burgers. Spray port as well. I almost blew right past that, but that's kind of an essential thing. People like to use that, it, it comes it was in the pass-through storage. It's a blue coiled cord. It looks kind of like a garden hose almost. You can use it to spray off your bikes, spray off the kids, spray off the dogs, any such thing, kind of handy. Ladder goes all the way to the top. Very essential for cleaning off your roof or just checking things out, roof maintenance, that sort of thing. There is an outdoor shower on the back that has hot and cold water. Super handy when you're going to rinse off after the beach or something like that, and you can always have that hot water available. Spare tire, very handy. Not all units come with a spare tire, so that's definitely a pro. There is your furnace exhaust. Now, this camper comes to us at 30 feet long. Gross vehicle weight is about 8,800 pounds. It has one slide, but it makes the inside huge. I'll show you that when we get to that point. So, working our way around, you've got your um, black water, gray water, all of that. This is your black tank flush there. Very handy makes it a lot easier. There's a lot of units that are coming with that black tank flush, which has been a really, really good thing. You do get power stabilizing jacks and your battery disconnect is located right in there. Extra spot here for external or side solar. So they call it solar on the side, pretty easy. You can plug in your suitcase solar panel or maybe a um, briefcase solar panel, fold out, angle it to wherever that sun is really getting you your most power and it's already pre-wired in. That's one of the things when you bring a unit in to get it serviced or put um, solar on top. If there isn't already wiring for it, that can be a long, extensive, expensive um, project. Definitely worth it, but if it's already pre-wired, super big bonus comes with a cap or a cover for your propane tanks, power tongue jack. You will get brand new interstate battery when you purchase from us. Just because you don't see one doesn't mean it won't be there. So now we get to go towards the inside and I get to show you all the great features within. So solid step goes all the way to the ground, nice, large, very top step, so you have a little bit more of a base. Nice grab handle. Working our way inside. I'm so excited to show you this. So before we go super, super far into all of the great features with this, I'm gonna kind of shift you around. And over here is a coat closet. So oh, one thing that a lot of people um, are looking for or really are, are wanting in their camper, having a hard time finding a place for it if there's not already designated spot, is for your coats or maybe your shoes or boots and those kind of things. Your purse, your hats, your you know binoculars, all these things that you wanna grab real quick on your way out the door and you do have it right next to the entrance, which is fantastic. So working our way to this fabulous living area. This counter goes 
for days. Lots and lots and lots of counter. This feature comes out from the counter. So it's stored here, which is very handy. You do get two chairs. There is the other chair is stored under the bed and I'll show you that when we get into the bedroom. Super easy, grab, pull, has a stopper on it. Gives you extra space to eat, extra space to, maybe if you're a uh, work from home or remote, um, what do they call it? Like working remote, you know what I'm saying? Words are not coming to me the way I want them to. Um, very nice. So what's great is it faces the window. So I'm gonna give a shout out to this window. Part of it you'll see is covered up by the door to the outside kitchen. What's great about this is you still have half a window. There's a lot of units where the outside kitchen door comes all the way up, covers up that window and you can't even get any inside light or any light inside. See, words. Ah, any light inside from the outside with that door open. So that's really handy there. You do get a TV, which is across from the couch. We'll pan around to that in a moment once we work our way that direction. That's another thing a lot of people are looking for with their campers is having that space right across from the entertainment area. JBL system, two different zones, storage, really great. Now, another thing that Winnebago has started to do um, in these 2023s is get the kitchen cupboards and not necessarily the, the top cupboards, but the bottom cupboards, a different color. And it's more of a blue for those of you who are maybe watching with, look at, ah, it's more of like a blue color. Very nice lots of space and then of course you have your sink covers which is awesome gives you a nice large sink with storage behind so you can have your coffee pot there over there maybe over on one of this other three feet of four feet of counter um, your stove is a three burner stove this here is a towel holder. So some people mistake this as being a drawer or a handle for something. This is just to hold your towel. A lot of people in residential homes have that hand towel hanging on that handle of their oven. So they just installed this so it's easy for use. Nice big drawer for pots and pans, conveniently located right underneath your stove. So you say, well, there's not an oven. You do get a convection microwave. So this convection microwave will bake just like an oven and actually almost a little better because with, if you're not familiar with convection ovens, what it does is it circulates that air. So it has a fan that circulates that air. It gives you more even bake. I like to bake, so that's how I know that. Lots of pantry storage there. I just like to show all the space that you get. Some people like to use these as um, kind of a precursor to whether they want to come in and take a look at this unit in person. What I can tell you is if you do decide to come and look at it, you will not be disappointed. Winnebago always does things to the next level. And their towables is definitely part of that. So. You get USB and outlets next to either side of the couch. Little bit of counter space, very nice sized couch. I'm gonna show you now, this does go out into more sleeping. So this camper can sleep four people, two here, two in the bedroom. So just to show you how simple this is. I love demoing this kind of stuff because sometimes people want to see, well, is that something that me and my husband could do together? Totally, because I can do it by myself. Is this something that I can do by myself? Completely. Now, it does have an angle at the moment. That's because I have not adjusted the legs because I'm just going to put this all back and they're gonna wheel it out to our showroom or the lot. Super simple. It 
helps to have maybe longer arms, but definitely not hard. I'm only five feet tall and I was able to do this pretty easy all on my own. There you go, see? We'll just put these back. All right, moving on. So on into the bathroom. One great thing about these pass-through bathrooms that they're really utilizing is the entire width of the camper. So you really do get a large bathroom, which is really nice. That's what another complaint a lot of people have is how big these bathrooms or how little the bathrooms are. Quite large, nice step up into the shower, but it's still you get quite a bit of space here. So when this is closed, you're really not losing a lot of space, which is, I'm gonna give a shout out to this. So when this goes in, it has a self-cleaning mechanism in there so that when the shower door goes closed, it squeegees off all the water so you're not getting that mildew and mold buildup. Very handy. So now the toilet, lots of space in front. It is a porcelain toilet. Cupboard storage, very nice. Extra drawer here. They added that nice blue color to the cupboards in here as well. This is this goes pretty deep, so you have quite a bit of storage back in there as well. And then of course your storage under the sink and access if you need it. Now, there are two sliding doors. You just grab this little doodad, pull it, it's elastic, and your pocket door goes closed. So you can have both doors closed, utilize the entire bathroom, or if it's just you, you can just close the one door and not have to worry about um, closing both doors if you just want that extra space. So working our way into the bedroom. While we're right here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the under the bed storage. That's where your other chair is stored for the moment. You can store both of them there. That's where they were when it came in. Um, I'll give a shout out to the hydraulics here. That's a really, really great thing. I barely gave it a little lift and it went up on its own. So when it goes to coming down, you just grab it, pull it down and it doesn't slam shut, which is really great. Now, both sides have USBs, outlets, there are wardrobes on either side, counter space, a drawer, and even up into here, a little secret compartment or extra pocket storage, because why not? Storage up above, and there's a light on either side. So if somebody doesn't want the light beaming down on them, but that person maybe still wants to read or whatever, they have the ability to turn them off manually right there, which is really nice. So for a couple's camper, you can sleep four people or maybe just the two of you, lots and lots of space. Again, my name is Haley Johns. If you'd like to work with me on this unit or maybe any other unit, give me a call, 218-740-49. Nine, seven. I'm willing to go the extra mile to help you camp in style. Have a great day.